In January 2020, Toyota rocked the hot hatch market with a rally car disguised as a consumer product. A turbo three-cylinder motor producing just shy of 270 horsepower, customizable all-wheel drive, a manual transmission, and a curb weight of 2,800 pounds meant this tiny hatchback was the new crown jewel of road-going rally cars. But all was not well in the United States, as Toyota showed us the fruit of their labors and told us Americans that it would not be coming to our shores. But here in America, we can be a rowdy bunch, and we made it plain to Toyota. Build us a monster hatchback. We are prepared to buy. Two years later, Toyota has revealed this, the new GR Corolla. The basic recipe is the same as the Yaris that inspired it. Programmable all-wheel drive, a wild body kit, a manual transmission, and a turbo three-cylinder motor now pumped up to a full-bodied 300 horsepower. After nearly a year of teasing, the powertrain that made the Yaris so incredible is finally coming to the United States, and it's looking to make a statement. Let's start with what we can see. Those that know the Yaris will see a familiar face on the front of the Corolla, with some slight tweaks. Along the bottom of the bumper is a faux splitter look that the Yaris does without, and the fog lights are on the outer edges of the center grille rather than the outer corners of the bumper. The squareness of the primary front intake is only interrupted by the Toyota badge, which intersects the top edge, but it is surrounded by body-colored pieces instead of simply being a part of the grille like in the standard hatchback and to me that creates a more cohesive look. On either side of the badge are intakes that are also absent from the base model, and it's easy to believe that these are the intakes that feed the motor directly, while the lower ones flow exclusively to the heat exchangers. And speaking of, if you peer through the front grille, you'll notice that the intercooler is printed proudly with the GR4 name. On either side of the grille are simple, tall, functional brake ducts, and housing those ducts are pronounced squared off front fenders, far bolder looking than the standard hatchback. Finally, the GR Corolla gets angry eyebrow style headlights with black housings, so that even at night, you know that this isn't your grandma's Corolla. Moving up to the hood, the standard aluminum hood is unchanged unless you opt for the limited production circuit edition. Those that check this box are treated to a unique hood with a power bulge and heat vents, as well as a carbon roof and wing but more on those in a moment. Down to the back of the wide fender is a functional vent unique to this car. A glossy black insert relieves air pressure from the front wheel wells and exhausts it over a black and red GR badge on either side of the car. The front doors are aluminum to save weight, while the rears sport the beginnings of the widened rear haunches, stuck onto the outside of the door. It's an odd look, and almost certainly a cost savings measure to avoid having to stamp completely different rear doors, but I can forgive it since at least it doesn't have a gaudy fake vent like the Super does on its weird door inserts. Finally, the enlarged side skirts are engraved with the GR4 insignia under the rear door. The plastic parts on the rear doors flow into a pronounced rear fender flare, which is also grafted onto the back of the car. It's very similar to the Civic Type R's rear flares. The fenders highlight just how much wider the GR is than the standard hatchback and serve as a bridge to the bold square rear bumper. The bumper design is relatively simple, very wide and square, and similar in style to the Aris. The hips of the bumper are capped by full LED taillights, similar to the standard car, but without the chrome accent. At the bottom edge of the bumper is perhaps the most unique part of this car, a triple exhaust outlet that spans the full width of the bumper. The two outer exhausts are noticeably smaller than the wide center outlet and are no doubt for daily driving, where the wide opening in the middle is likely for sports car duties. Similar to the GR86, the exhaust cutouts on the bumper are much larger than the exhaust tips themselves, likely in an effort to give aftermarket tuners the liberty to go crazy with huge exhaust tips if they want. Finishing out the exterior of the car is the roof and wing, both of which are the same as the standard Corolla unless you opt for the circuit edition I mentioned earlier. Circuit Edition cars get a forged carbon fiber roof and an exclusive tall rear wing that certainly looks the part of a track going hatchback. Where the rubber meets the road, new 18 inch 15 spoke black wheels are wrapped in 235 wide Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. Tucked behind those wheels, 
are slotted rotors measuring 14 inches at the front and 11 inches at the rear, with GR badged four piston calipers at the front of the car and two piston calipers out back. All of this means that the GR Corolla was built to attack the track straight from the factory. Compared to its smaller stable mate, the GR Yaris, the Corolla is about 400 pounds heavier, weighing in at 3,249 pounds. The extra horsepower is intended to counteract the added weight, but the added weight isn't just because it's a bigger car. The all-wheel drive system needs to be durable enough to handle 300 horsepower coursing through it without overheating. The chassis has many additional seam welds and braces to stiffen it up over the standard car. Toyota didn't add anything to the car that they didn't feel was necessary to help it accomplish its mission. Under the hood resides the motor that America has been dying to get its hands on. Toyota's turbo three-cylinder, designated the G16E. This motor debuted initially in the GR Yaris, but in the heftier GR Corolla, power has been pumped to an even 300 horses and 273 pound-feet torque. This awesome motor can only be bolted to a six-speed manual transmission, and power is routed to all four wheels using a programmable center differential, which can be set to send up to 70% of the engine's power to the rear wheels. Limited slip differentials are available at both the front and the rear axles and are standard equipment on the Circuit Edition. Those familiar with the inside of the Corolla hatchback will find subtle but important differences in the cabin of the GR version. First, the seats have been replaced with aggressively bolstered sport bucket seats, with headrests emblazoned with the GR badge. The steering wheel is replaced with a GR-specific three-spoke steering wheel. Behind that new wheel is a full-length digital dash, which can display such things as engine RPM, a G-meter, and a boost gauge, among other things. Down at the center console is a physical handbrake, replacing the electronic emergency brake in the regular Corolla. In front of that is the manual transmission, with a GR-spec leather-wrapped shift knob. However, the Circuit Edition cars get a special engraved shift knob, with the signature of the president of Toyota's racing moniker, Morizo. The GR Corolla is one of the most exciting vehicles Toyota has released in the United States, proudly taking its place neatly between the revamped GR86 and the Supra. Pricing has not yet been announced for the GR Corolla, but the expectation, given its placement in the Toyota lineup, is that it will start in the $35,000 to $40,000 range for core models and up to $45,000 to $50,000 for the limited run circuit edition. In the age of electrification, it is a surprising gift to automotive enthusiasts that Toyota would produce such an incredible car. With Subaru's recent announcement that there are currently no plans to produce an STI version of the controversial new WRX, this means the Corolla's competition includes the front-wheel drive Hyundai Elantra M, the soon-to-be-updated Civic Type R, and the far more expensive Volkswagen Golf R. With Toyota's legendary reputation for reliability, coupled with the potential to carve out a sweet spot in the automotive landscape for an all-wheel drive hot hatch, conditions are just about perfect for the launch of this new Corolla. Let's just hope that the people that come knocking can drive a stick shift.